I have a video to show you, Elliot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how surprised are you going to be about okay. this video. It depends on how. I mean, it surprised a lot of people, even in Iran. Okay. Some people were, this is normal to them. Some people are shocked. But I just wanted to show this to you to see how shocked you are by it. All right. Okay. All so right. let's see. All right. So this is the video we have. And this is a video from Sadao Sima, which is the Iran's national broadcast, national TV, wow. which is owned by the government, mm -hmm. run by the government, mm -hmm. is complete. And the head of it is specifically chosen by the Supreme Leader. But that's, I'm getting into too much detail. But a recent video just came out just for people who might not be familiar about the divide between what you get from the government and what the people, the values of the people. Some people might forget because of all the scenes of the things that we've right. seen from the revolution and we see how liberal people are and how secular they are and how uh, pro-freedom and pro-modernity people are in Iran, they might sometimes forget that the government is very much different mm. what the government um, advocates for, the values that they spread is very much different from the people of Iran. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of statistics to back that up. Right? We have sh shared that statistics with you. But sometimes it's good to give people an example of what you could oh, see yeah. on the national TV spread by the government. So here we have a child in Chador, right? Chador is like a very religious outfit. It's mm -hmm. not your mm -hmm. normal hijab, right? It's like a step, you know, mu much more... Conservative, a conservative, yeah. a very conservative family will make their little girl wear chador, let alone hijab, because it's not required for a girl this young yeah. to wear a hijab at all. Yeah. But not only they have made her to wear the hijab, they have made her to wear the most extreme version of hijab. Very religious family, right? Mm -hmm. So they have her on here on TV to say something, and she's going to talk about. She's going to say something to the host to the of the channel to the but before we play that, I want people to understand the context because or else nothing would make sense here. So you know who Hussein is? Hussein? Yeah, 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 yeah. like the 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 character I mean not character, but like in the story, like character. Like, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, it's a okay. So the so-called yeah, go on. So it's it's he's a Third Imam of Shias, he's the right. grandson of Muhammad. Right. He's one of the holiest, if not the holiest, some yeah. people would argue, figure in Shia Islam. More, they wouldn't admit this, but more dear than Muhammad himself to Shia Muslims. Um, and he was martyred. Right. And he is a symbol of martyrdom for Shia Muslims. So when you talk about martyrdom, when you talk on their chest, right? This is where oh, like yeah, that... Yeah, yeah. that that kind of okay for, okay yeah yeah for the day for the Karbala for the events of Karbala which okay. was the place where Hossein was killed but now that you have that context mm -hmm. i just want you let's mm -hmm. just play this and see what she said she is saying that your mom told me that you were very upset this year for what she says, your mom told me that you were very upset this year that you didn't get to go to Karbala. So Karbala oh. is the place where Hussein died, okay. which is in, it's in Iraq, right? So a lot of, she, every year she has go from uh, Iran to Iraq ever since Saddam was removed. Uh, because before Shias in Iran could not go to Karbala in masses to be able to uh, mourn the, the death of Hossein. But now, ever since Saddam is gone, Shias go in mass numbers to Karbala every year to remember Hossein's death, right? And huge numbers. It's crazy, right? So she's saying that you were upset this year that you couldn't go to Karbala. So, by the way, Karbala is now competing like the Iranian government is trying to convince pr more people like they don't admit this as well they're trying to compete with Kaaba Mecca I was, so I was gonna to say that yeah yes so going to Karbala as a pilgrimage is a bigger deal among Shia religious Shias than going to the Hajj in Kaaba oh, that's so interesting 
And ever since the relationships with Saudi Arabia, they would not say that. They they cannot admit what I'm telling you. Sure, that would one of be. The, but because that's one of the foundations of yeah. Islam to go to Hajj, to go to Kaaba. But they put more effort into advocate advertising going to Karbala and they try they are actively competing getting Shias to go to Karbala instead of to Hajj, right? Instead of Kaaba in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So this is apparently what this little girl is upset about that she didn't get to go to Karbala. Mm-hmm. She said, Why are you like this is so over the top? They're trying to act like this, you, this is so obviously <laughs> she's like, Why were you so upset to go to Karbala? She's saying that in the in that tone. Not to be able to go to Karbala. <laughs> she says, Because I love Imam Hussein. Because oh. I really love Imam Hussein. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why do you love Imam Hussein so much? Mm. <laughs> so the mom, I think, is helping right now, like to, so that the child could answer. She's like, what did Hossein do so that you love her so much? Maybe. Oh, she says, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh. So this is an embarrassing moment. Oh, no. Right? So this is a... Yeah, oh, so no. she failed. So she said, I don't know. Okay. Okay, now, she said, but you love him anyways, right? What is this? She so she's now talking at the uh, looking at the mother. She's like, uh, "Lady, what is this really?" Yani, ma agar be khodemun negah bokonim yon namun nemiyad che tefaqi uftad ba imam. Like he's just saying, even if we look into our own hearts, even we look at ourselves, sometimes we forget. Like we forget what really happened in Kabul. Oh, Actually, she's oh, that's she's cute. lying. Nobody. Oh, that's nobody that's... forgets. <laughs> She's yeah, she's yeah, she's yeah. doing a really good job as a host when she's when like you bring, yeah the kid said something that was wrong and she's like no you know we that that's we all have that sentiment you know like sometimes yes. we she, don't match up that's I like that that's yeah good. you're right she's trying to save the moment I think she's going with the explanation of it's our love for Hussein is so innate it's so mm. essential it's mm. I don't know how to it's yeah yeah essential natural, innate, it's a natural yeah. force innate yeah. yes innate that we don't even need the reason to love us right we just do i mean i I love him i mean (laughs) all right okay it's a force of nature the love for hussein is a force Mm. of they actually do believe that like we have oh my god i should show you another video about how oh my god i now know what to show you next week about how the love for hussein We've got the yeah. nuclear forces mm. and we've got the love yeah. for Hussein. Like, yeah, makes sense to me. Like, force the nature, actually, baby. <laughs> actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to show you a video next week to show how a fundamental force of nature it Good. is, the love for Hussein is. That's okay. So Good. that's the route she's going. Let's see if she could save it. Yeah, we, we, do, we actually, even us, we don't remember what actually happened, which is nonsense. They compl- everybody knows what happened, okay? Everybody remembers it, okay? So, and if somebody asks us, why do you love Hussein? We'll just, we just do, we just love Hussein. Mm. Like, we don't even need a reason. So, just, she's trying to save him. the answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we just love him. We don't even okay. need a reason. We love Hussein. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she says it comes from the love for Hussein comes from your mother's milk like it's she's like it's like it, it, it's as if it comes to you the love for Hussein you inherit that from your mother's milk basically she's saying it's like from birth Okay. Like it is no reasons required. Right? Okay. I know, I was, it's innate. She's, innate, she's innate. Laying it on a little thick at this point, man. <laughs> yeah. Like the first thing you said was like, "Hey, that was a good twist. That was a good save. Like you did a great job as a host." At this point, it's like, "Okay, we get it." Okay. I'm happy to. What I'm saying is that. What I'm the, what did you write in that letter? Would you send a letter? I don't know what this letter is. It seems like a letter that people in the U.S., maybe kids in the U.S. write to the, to Santa or something. But oh. I think they have their own Shia version. I don't know what's happening here. They write I don't letters know to who. I don't know. So but she's weird. like, what did you write? <laughs> and like, what did you write in the letter? So let me see what this letter is. Right. Oh, yeah, it is for us. You're right. Really? Like, <laughs> 
it is for Hussein. He's like, what did you write in that letter that you gave to that man so he could put, put with that man that goes to Karbala to put it in Hussein's resting place for Hussein to no, read? No so way. it is a she wrote a letter to Hussein. Wow. Yeah, so what did you write? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> this is why Sonny's hate she has so far. <laughs> because <laughs> this is all of this, this feels exactly all of this feels shirky. I'm just saying. This all is very this. shirky. This is very, very shirky. <laughs> and this is why Sonny's don't like she is. Yeah. <laughs> so she she wrote on the letter. Hold on. <laughs> so she wrote for her father and her son. Right, so, for, and so her father and her and his son, right, and his and her own brother, right. So, mm -hmm. so she's trying to. She was praying basically to Hossein, asking Hossein to make her father's dream come true. What is her father's dream? <laughs> so her father's dream is to become a martyr. So she basically is as praying to Hossein for her father to die. So this is her wish. Oh boy, that's her prayer. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> That took a turn. <laughs> and such a sweet looking child saying that. This child is openly calling right. for their father's death, basically. Oh my god. Yes, okay. yes. So okay. she's she's hoping her father to die, basically. That's what she's praying for in her letter, right? To oh say. Oh, and he also her brother. Apparently, her brother is in her mother's belly right now. I think because she's oh. saying my brother who's on the way. So oh. her brother, who's her, who her mom is pregnant with, as I'm uh -huh. assuming, she's hoping that she's also prayed to a saying that when her brother grows up, that he dies as well, that he you becomes know, a martyr. Right? You know, yes. If if anybody is ever unsure about how <laughs> Islam's number one focus is just really maintaining Good. a strong family. Like, right. this is a great family example, values. right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. just, if this doesn't scream family right. values, Armin, I just, I don't know <laughs> what does anymore. <laughs> Wishing for your father and your unborn <laughs> brother, brother both to, to one yeah. day be able to die. I mean, yes, gosh. yes, to be killed, to, to be, killed. be murdered, Spe right? Specifically, yes. Yes. right, right. Not, wow, yeah. not a peaceful death, not in their be deathbed, like to be killed by somebody wow. else. Violent, they wish is wishing a violent death for Man. her father and her unborn. Uh, brother. Again, this is Man. such an adorable little child. I, I'm just yes, saying, like, yes, she yes. looks so She's cute, and and like she rich. probably plays and has a great time with her friends and whatever. But like, yeah, she's literally asking for her dad to die. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. yeah. Wow, it's so wholesome here. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Wholesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see how this answers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, they're loving it so much. They're like, oh. oh my God, that's so adorable. That's what they're saying. That's so adorable. That's what the host is saying. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's, like, she's pregnant. Yeah, she's currently she's, pregnant. And her other yeah, child yeah. that's been around for a few <laughs> years now has apparently... <laughs> got a the ability wish. to right right has a death wish for the new baby <laughs> she's currently <laughs> pregnant with like yeah oh my gosh oh, this is, they're seeing this as a sign of good uh parenting like she's raising her children properly you know that's what I mean, they're saying this if, if 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 your kids don't wish each other's death at least a little bit <laughs> you know you probably aren't right. doing a great job as a parent no. i think that's yeah, that's yeah, there. Yeah. By the way, this is why I tell people as much as Islam is anti-woman, it's also very much anti-men, right? Mm -hmm. I know Islam yeah, is very much against women's rights. Their inheritance is half sure. of the men. Their testimony in court is half of men. Child marriage to little girls is encouraged eh, in the Quran and Hadith. Wife beating is commanded, not encouraged, but commanded in the Quran. Taking sex slaves uh, is ordered in the Quran, right? And but it's also very much anti men because oh, yeah. men are expected to go die, uh -huh. right? Like therefore for Islam. 
like right? excitedly. So, yeah, at least she doesn't have to go die, become a martyr. Her hey, brother you know, is expected. Yeah, so it's a weird it's a weird thing to compare. It's like live life in eternal hell and torture and torment. Or right, right. don't have to live that way, but you know, get brutally yeah. murdered. But your husband point. gets to like, beat you every time he I, fears it, disobedience. It's yeah, such I mean, a weird choice, honestly. I don't think yeah. you win either way. No, I don't think you win. I mean, the only people, it's not men who win with Islam, it's men in power who right. win with Islam, right? right? right, right. Everybody else right. loses. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, another wish of her was less, less violent wish of her is for her to be able to go to Karbala every year. So oh, that's, that's actually, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So I think there should be, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> less violent, relatively yeah, is good. Better. <laughs> the host is like, but your brother hasn't been even born yet. No way. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the response to that little child? Yeah. I would love to hear. Yeah. Like. Right, 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 right. <laughs> now you're saying now that your brother has to be martyred now? <laughs> and she's saying like no, when he grows up, when he becomes oh, an adult. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Could have yeah. could have been an engineer or an architect or a doctor, but screw yeah. all that nonsense. Let's get brutally yeah. murdered. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> She's like the host is like no, I'm just joking, like of course. Like, <laughs> so, Great so the, joke, <laughs> man! Hilarious, <laughs> super. So yeah, so the host was like, I'm not oh my like, God. I'm, I'm, yeah, of course, what you're saying is good. I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry, little child. Your desire for your brother to one day get killed. It's a good thought. It's, va- it's a good. It's valid. Thought. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. that's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> man oh god man yeah well great parenting yeah that great that that's the moral of this story great parenting yeah. right there <laughs> let's see where how this is <laughs> she's like really good off like she's congratulating who's she congratulating? <laughs> Oh, she's congratulating the mother. She's saying congratulations really? on They're... how you raised your children. Right. Yeah. We were joking about it, but she was serious. No. That's okay. Yeah, she's yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's saying it has a blessing, like the way that you're, I think, she, I think she's saying the way you're raising your children. She's using some Arabic words. I don't know. I think she's saying it, there's blessing in the way that you're looking, you're raising your children. Wow. And she's confirming did you want your dad to become a murderer as well the girl is lying yes your brother as well, she's like doubling your brother as well as your father and she's like yes oh my god oh my i didn't think this could get any worse okay I, I actually okay oh wow Ooh. i this is an, i didn't know I knew about this video. I didn't know it gets. I I haven't watched it to this part. Okay, this this is a new low. Okay. Okay. So the host is asking, "What about yourself? Do you want to be a martyr?" No, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my host- gosh. <laughs> like like guys, we're y'all we're laughing at this because it is so absurd that that right. somebody would say such a horrible thing to a child. Like yeah. Oh my gosh, she seriously asked, Would you do you want to become a martyr? Wanna die. Holy yes. crap. The, um, this is yeah, uh, this they're telling a child they're in car- this is wow. a death cult. I mean, this they're kid, telling a child this kid literally yeah. cannot be above the age of like what six, like five? I know. Like this is a yeah, small yeah. child, y'all. This, this is, is child crazy. Abuse. Yes, yes. Yeah. Holy crap. They, I, they and they they brag about it. this is on national TV. They're telling they're a child that you want to die. Like, yeah, yeah. you telling it. They're telling a five, six year old, do you want to die? My God. like this is this is what the fuck. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. All right, yeah. Wow. So what about okay. yourself? Do you want to be a mother? Yeah. So let's, let's see. What see. Says. Yeah. Thank you. Dad. She says yes. Well, yes, I does. mean, okay. So I, I'll take that back. I, uh, Girls can, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Do you feel good that the child is consistent? 
and not like sexist no. in this instance because at least she oh, yeah. is also going to be a martyr. Is that yeah? Do you is that is equal that the opportunity? Takeaway here? Yeah, right. Equal yeah, yeah, opportunity yeah. Who's to be brutally feminism? Murdered for... I know. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Is that how we should look at this, or should we just yeah. be disgusted by the fact that a child understands the concept of martyrdom I, and is like, I want. I mean, to do that. I will. I will leave it to the audience, but I'm just okay, going to pick okay. the disgusted. I will yeah, pick the disgusted yeah, option, but you guys yeah, could let yeah. us know in the comment section which one would you pick. So, <laughs> so yeah. What uh, you She says like, yeah, great, great. That's a great answer. She's like, congratulations. Great answer. Great answer. answer. Yeah. Great Amazing. answer. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. man, that was uh, mm -hmm. that was weird. That yeah. was a roller coaster. <laughs> Well, I have another one in the next video for you. That's also that is that the this video I seen videos like this, but in the next video I'm gonna show you something that I was like I can't believe they're saying this while on camera. Really? I was it was a this new for like every okay. time every year I think yeah this is it this is the worst thing I've seen. Next year I see something like okay I did not expect you guys <laughs> you got you are being recorded right now okay so that's okay let's get let's get to the next video yeah, let me, yeah. Let me okay